The Boon and children who form the Vox Nativa Choir hail from a small mountain town in Nanto, but they have performed all over the world. Their beautiful music is featured in the documentary Beyond Beauty, Taiwan from Above. Today, in our Sunday special report, we take a look back at the children's incredible journey from the margins of Taiwan to the global stage. In a scene in the documentary Beyond Beauty, Taiwan from Above, Bunong children are seen standing on the summit of Jade Mountain singing a traditional Bunong song. Those children are the members of the Vox Nativa Choir. It has been six years and under the direction of their school principal, the children of the Vox Nativa Choir have learned to express themselves through song. The choir has performed on stages big and small in Japan, the U.S., and throughout Europe. But their principal knows that deep down, the children went through these experiences with twinges of self-doubt. The first year I worked with the choir, I was left with a strong impression. When our kids got off the bus, they looked around at the other kids singing in the same way. The more they listened, the more nervous they got because they thought the other kids were singing correctly and that they were doing it wrong. They really didn't want to get on stage. We had to use many methods to trick them onto the stage. We came out first in the competition and it made me realize this. If a person with ability lacks the confidence to use it, then it's just as if they had no ability. In 2008, Principal Ma founded the Vox Nativa School for Music Studies, where he offered courses every weekend. The mission was to give the children new opportunities through the school's courses. Every Saturday, a small bus makes the rounds, picking up children in the choir from Aborigine communities in Nantou County's Shini Township. The children stay at the music school all weekend, where their daily routine and necessities are taken care of by the school. The children are like one big family. Principal Ma is like their father, as well as their friend. A lot of things that should be learned at home, attitudes that should be established, outlooks that should be established, these things don't always happen for the children, perhaps because the structure of their home isn't sound. When the children come here, we guide them through a mix of activities and courses. For Principal Ma, it's important to help the children with their schoolwork. After the teacher reads the question out loud, the students write their answers on the whiteboard. The teacher walks around checking each of the answers. Our goal here today is to explain various math concepts for them and also to help them think and solve problems on their own. The children aren't any worse at learning than kids living elsewhere. I feel like they're making progress. Every year they make progress. I was also born into a poor family, but my mother never gave up on my education. Although she was illiterate, throughout my elementary school years, she would be at my side every night as I did my homework. It was because of this that I was able to have a career in education. So I kept telling myself, reminding myself, that if there comes a day that my own abilities get better, a time when I have greater abilities, I will help many other people. Knowing from experience that education can change lives, Principal Ma exhausts every means of helping the children get ahead through learning. This video chat tutoring program was set up by Principal Ma. On Friday evenings, university students come online to chat with the Bunong children, helping them solve the tricky problems they encounter during their studies. In class at school, the teacher lectures to everyone at the same time, so they go at a faster pace. Those of us who don't go to cram school just feel completely lost. Here, it is one-on-one -on -one with the teacher, who goes over the lesson again and ties it all up for you. So you hear everything twice, more or less. You master more of the content and understand more of it. The children who live here are no less capable than children elsewhere. They really just need opportunities to learn, opportunities to learn and build confidence, as well as adults who support them as they grow up. Many of these resources are expensive, and for the school, finances are a heavy burden. Our kids study here at no cost to them. 
They are all from disadvantaged families. This year, we weren't able to raise as much money as we hoped, so we're under a lot of pressure. But we've already come so far, and we can't stop now. Principal Ma has taken it upon himself to be the children's staunchest ally. Today, the children take to the stage to welcome their guests, One Song Orchestra, greeting them with an unforgettable performance. You look at each of the children and see this pure and intent expression. The seriousness toward performance is one of the most touching things in music. This choir is about providing a form of education. What we care most about is whether over the course of this process, our children have changed. Have the children changed? On their faces, the answer is clear. We can see their self-confidence. <laughs>